really bright. I got the streamliner in the trailer, on the stand, and I'm getting ready to seal it. Um, basically, I need to put a thicker coat of something on there to seal it, because right now it's just the raw styrofoam and it has a tendency to get really junked up. I was trying to figure out something I could use to coat this that would help it um, be sealed, but also not be as expensive as epoxy, but during my testing, I just couldn't find a reliable source. I tried garage sealant epoxy, I tried PVA, um, I tried a couple other things too, like uh, just tape. But in the end, the cheapest way for me to do it was to use the total bar epoxy that I've gotten and just coat the whole thing. So I don't know exactly how much square footage it's gonna cover, but the garage epoxy said it was about 250 square feet for two gallons. So I'm gonna use one gallon right now. I'm gonna lay it up there, I'm gonna heat up the area. And we'll see what it looks like in the morning. Hopefully everything cures up. It's about 40 degrees. Hopefully it's not too cold. We'll find out. Now I'm using the vacuum pot because I want to get all the bubbles out. I uh, just got this vacuum pot, so hopefully it'll work. There we go. It's about one o'clock in the morning. I'm just gonna let this thing cure overnight. And I got the heater going full blast. Hopefully that helps it out, but we'll see. We'll check it in the morning. Okay, so I got a guide coat all over the whole entire piece, and I've been doing some preliminary sanding, and this epoxy is pretty hard. I didn't want to sand too hard and go all the way through, so I put a guide coat on, so that way I could kind of see when I was getting close to the, the surface layer epoxy. I'm also sanding out some of the foam that's in there too, so yeah, it's just a lot of work. I'm gonna keep going, you'll see the end result. Okay, got some bad news. Um, I spent maybe five, six hours sanding all this, getting it pretty close, and had to move the trailer out of the way for some other stuff. And when I was moving it, it actually broke the bug in half of one of the seams. So I'm gonna, I guess, glue that back together. Um, sets me back a little bit, so I gotta do some more sanding to get the seams proper, but lesson learned. Let's just keep this thing in one spot for now on. Ugh.
I'm editing this and it looks super boring. I wouldn't really watch it either. So I'm going to switch over to some old footage I got of Dennis Manning in Grass Valley building the Bub Streamliner. I went and visited him last year and he's doing some really cool carbon fiber stuff and I wanted to pick his brain using some of the knowledge on this stuff. So enjoy. Hey, yeah. This is all what's in between? Now that is uh, uh, like honeycomb. That's the honeycomb that fits inside. Yeah. Cool. It's Nomad honeycomb. We have two types of honeycomb. Come back here. Okay. Don't let me, little girl. <laughs> I built this barn myself too. Did yeah. Nice. Keep covering all this. But that's that's quarter inch. Yeah. And this is half inch. This is half inch honey. And what 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 how come this says in between? What does it do? What? Like what's the purpose of having this in there? Good. That makes it strong. Okay. It makes it way strong. Yeah. But ten times strong. It's remarkable. Wow. If you just have a couple layers together, yeah, it becomes it, it's still rigid, but you can move it. But then imagine like an I beam versus a sheet of metal. metal. Right. Okay. So you have two different segments. So you have to compress the bottom one and put the top one in tension, mm -hmm. and they don't like doing that. So they actually fight each other, and it makes it lighter. So you don't have to right. you don't need team to fill that area with like epoxy or more layers to get that same space. We got too much. We got so much trash at our place. <laughs> okay. The professor at UC uh, Sacramento, he just, he, probably, he just retired actually, and he taught a finite element, okay, so he knew what he was doing. Yeah. Well, he did a finite element on this, and we compared it to if we made a similar chassis according to the SETA rules, mm -hmm. you know, for two, mm -hmm. seven times stronger. Holy shit. The length from... What we did... Uh, oh, so this is the actual chassis. Yes. It's the chassis and the skin. And you're just bolting subframes to it, I guess, you'll right? See, well, you'll see. I'll show you that. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, it is. That's, that's all of it. That's you know, crazy. The whole chassis, skin, everything mm -hmm. will weigh about 180 pounds. That's bananas. Oh, it's stupid. Yeah. How much does your thing weigh? 2,000. Or no, 8, 1,800. Pounds, so the whole thing. So my, I think my frame was probably around, I don't know, shit. We tried to put it in the in the barn the other day, and it was probably like four hundred pounds. Really? For roll, like roller, no, no drivetrain, but just roller. That, that's impressive, really. This is how much it weighs. Wow, the whole bike. Everything wet, with not her in it, but wet. Yeah. Yeah. Holy shit! And how much horsepower do you have? Oh, I don't know. A G. A little over five hundred. Oh, that's not bad. Okay. It's not bad. That's promising for me because it, when I look at my specs with batteries and stuff, I the battery gets really heavy. Okay, I'll, if I can tell you one thing, yeah, they'll sink into her beautiful head. Ready? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's not horsepower. Oh yeah. Okay. It's not horsepower. It's not weight. Mm -hmm. It's how efficient it gets through the air. Mm -hmm. That's all of it. Remember that. Yeah. If if, if you can get through the air efficiently. That's all of it. That's it? Right. That's what Jack's, uh, Jack Costello's thing is. Oh, yeah, I know. It's safe. Yeah. <laughs> this is just... Uh, our home is, is... I have a nice home and everything, but I don't have any... There's very little thing in our home that we have racing. Mm -hmm. So if I have racing stuff that I think I want to keep out and take, <laughs> take a look at every once in a while, mm -hmm. okay, it, it comes in here. I, this, this thing's filled with... Memorabilia. Yeah, that's really. I like that one a lot. That's some trouble. I wonder if this uh, this body would fit my bike. Huh? That mold you got. This is the tire that blew at 450 miles an hour. Oh no. I looked at uh, electric. Yeah, and a lot of people have. Well, no, I looked at it. See, I put my heart and soul into these things. Yeah. You know, designed and built those from scratch. Mm hmm. <laughs> that's that, I mean, that's an accomplishment all that was know. when i went to we, where'd we go uh my cook shootout yeah. 2017 2016 mm -hmm. and i this is the first time i saw your bike and i was like that motor is fucking beautiful because it's all custom 
It's insane. Yeah. It's absolutely it's insane. Clean piece of paper. Yeah. And then here, here's the other. There's a nine degree four cylinder. What's the dis what's the, what's the displacement? Three liter. Three liter. Yeah, hundred and eighty inches. And what's the timing on the? Um, are they one eighty out on the? Oh no, they're they're yeah one eighty right. One eighty out. Okay. It's a it's a big bang motor. Yeah. Yeah. And then this is the transmission we built again from scratch. <laughs> Any turbo? Yeah. Jesus. That's cool. Air shifter. Yeah. We He's designed a, all that too. Centrifugal clutch setup, or no? It's just a regular. It's a clutch out of an Indy car. How the only part we didn't make. How many uh, gears? Four. Four gears. Yeah. Okay. Very cool. She, she can in the first mile she can go two hundred miles an hour now. Yeah. You got the torque for it. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, a lot of torque. Now that the only thing that's been done there is just. Dusted it off. Yeah. Get that all straight. That's how it looked right after she crashed. That's crazy. And how fast was it? Three, three, six, three. Three, six, three. She caught air. I remember seeing that. She didn't catch air. No? No, then blew her, blew her over. I mean, but she got up off the ground, right? Oh, shit, I guess. Yeah, she that's it. air about 50 feet. That's what I was saying, caught air. Holy shit, man. It is narrow, though. This bike is a lot more narrow than I thought it was. Oh, yeah. It's really tiny. 618 square inches. 18, 618 square inches. So, how rattling the experience? How was she after everything? Well, walked away. In Australia, they have a really bitching deal. They come up, and they, 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 followed, they followed the crash. And then they had uh, guys with, uh, I'll call them sheets, okay? So she had, she was isolated from anybody, mm -hmm. okay? So uh, they had a, a, a surgeon there, which you don't have, you know, any place else. Yeah. They had a surgeon on, online there. And they took her into the ambulance which is more of a uh, hospital than, than an ambulance. I mean, they have to be, you know, pretty well prepared out there. Sure. And uh, at that, by that time, I, I didn't know. All I did was a guy, one of the, the uh, fire people came to me, a guy I'd known for a long time from going to Australia as much, and he came and he says, mate, she's okay. Yeah, that's all I knew. Yeah. Because I, I didn't know if I was going to see a pool of blood or I mean, what I was going to see. That's good enough. <laughs> and uh, so they they checked her over because she came out and she had a Band-Aid on her right knee, or just below her right knee. <laughs> and she came up and she says, Bub, you saved my life. <laughs> I know I would have been a dead person if I did this and anything else. Jeez. Oh, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. She's really good too. Right. But the difference with Valerie, though, you know, I've had some of the best. I've had Cal Raver, and I've had, well, I've had really good guys riding. And uh, out of all of them, a guy by the name of Boris Murray, who's a drag racer, is the best. She's excellent because she does what I tell her to do. She doesn't go out there and say, "Well, I thought maybe I should do this." Right? right? No, she does exactly what I tell her to do. And, and it works. Works good.